In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to play Game Boy games on your Playdate console. So the first thing we'll want to do is download the GameKid emulator, which runs Game Boy games on your Playdate console. Now the GameKid emulator is a brand new emulator, and it doesn't support sound yet, but it does run games smoothly. The first thing you'll want to do is click the zip folder in the latest release and download that file. The next thing you'll want to do is navigate to the second link in the description for the Playdate sideload page. Now the sideload page lets you upload games to the Playdate website and download them directly to your Playdate console. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that right into the sideload a game panel. And you can see I already have it down here. Now once that's done, you can open your Playdate, press the menu button in the top right corner, and navigate to settings. From settings, you'll go to games and go down until you see GameKid. So uh, it might take a while for GameKid to show up on your play date, but it'll refresh the list in the top left. Once that's done, GameKid will show up under my games. So now you can click that with A and press A again to install the game. Once that's done, you should have the emulator, and you can go back, pressing the menu button, and see it listed in My Games. The next thing you need to do is actually get some games onto your playdate that you can play using the emulator. So to do that, first you'll need a folder to put your games in. So if you go ahead and open GameKid, it'll create that folder for you. And you can see it says, place your Game Boy files in the games folder on the Playdate's data disk. That's what we're going to do next. So take your Playdate and have a, have a USB-C cable ready. What you'll want to do is press the on button, the menu button, and the left button at the same time. That's the top button, this menu button, and the left button at the same time. And you'll do it like this. And you'll hold that for about 10 seconds until this screen appears. This screen's saying that it's sharing as a data segment and the light will turn on. And that's how you know you've got it in USB mode. So get your USB-C cable and plug it into the Playdate. So now a folder with your Playdate's data should pop up. So now that you've connected your Playdate to your computer, You'll want to have some Game Boy files with games on it that you want to play, ready to go. So you can see I have several here. What you want to do is copy these files and paste them in a particular directory on your Playdate. So go to Data, and inside of Data, you'll see a bunch of folders. Click the one that says GameKid. So for me, that's this one. Then go into the Games folder and paste in your games. So that was data, the folder with GameKit at the end, and then games. Now that that's done, you can disconnect your play date from the computer and open up the emulator again. So now when you open up the emulator, you should see your games that you uploaded. So this is me playing Pokemon Yellow on the GameKit emulator. Yeah, like I mentioned before, there's no sound yet, but I think in future iterations you can re-upload the GameKid to your Playdate sideload and they'll, there'll be sound when they update it. You can see it runs pretty well.